Anybody who thinks that the world is less than 10,000 years old is an enormous number of creationists, especially in America, but not only in America, do think. Uh, the best excuse for them is lamentable ignorance. Ignorance is no crime, uh, but it, it's something to be remedied by education. Anybody who is not ignorant, anybody who's been shown the facts and still believes the world is less than 10,000 years old, there's got to be something wrong with them. The, to give an idea of the magnitude of the error, to believe that the world is less than 10,000 years old, given that we know the world is actually 4.6 billion years old, it's equivalent to believing that the width of North America, right across from New York to San Francisco, is less than 10 yards. I mean, that's the scale of the error we're talking about. So you've either got to be staggeringly ignorant, which most of them are, or if you're not ignorant, you've got to be insane. I think that religious upbringing is immensely powerful, and if it's hammered into you as a young child, it can be really quite difficult to get rid of in later life, especially if, when you were a child, you were told, the devil will come and will try to persuade you of error, remain steadfast, don't listen. Um, sometimes they were even told things like, don't believe when people bring something they call evidence. Faith is more important than evidence. I mean, it's really a, a, a really appalling stranglehold that these archaic beliefs have on minds that have been warped since childhood. It's such a privilege to understand where we come from, a privilege that's granted to those of us who live after 1859, uh, that to deny children that privilege is wicked. Uh, it's um, a deprivation which should not be visited on any child when the truth is so staggeringly exciting. It really is an enormously exciting thought that we are cousins of all living creatures, that we have a history of four billion years of slow, gradual evolution. Just think about four billion years of slow, gradual history. That's not something we can easily take on board. But the effort of doing so is well worth it. It's such a, a beautiful thought that we are the heirs of four billion years of evil, maybe 3.5 billion years of evolution, and that we are cousins of all living things. When you put that against the measly, piddling little ideas that are in Genesis. It's just no comparison, and it's a, a sad and diminishing deprivation of a child's opportunities to be denied that knowledge.